I want people to respond to this message and let me know what it is that you're grateful for today. So much negativity going on in the world, we get to be the light and the positivity for people. Focus on what you're grateful for. <laughs> Come on! I'm a full-time herbal life nutrition health coach. I work in personal training, so I'm a personal trainer as well. And um, I, I'm a full-time dad. So I'm a full-time dad. I have, I have two boys that are in my amazing love, Aiden and Liam. Aw, uh, shout out to Aiden and Liam. <laughs> now, I want to ask you some questions. We're going to ask you something. Why should we consider fitness to be an art? And is there more to being a fitness trainer than just working out the body? Can you tell us? Because it's a way to where one can to sculpt their body. My belief is that fitness is just overall. It's mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally being connected and within integrity of all four of those things working together. Wow. What inspired you to embark on this journey? How did you end up doing this? I was looking for a way to where I can give back to the world in a way that where the demand for my craft and my passion is always going to be there. And it was a promise I actually made to my grandmother that I, I grow up and become the best version of myself. So. Uh, is your grandmother still here? No, my grandmother's not still here. Um, shout out to your grandma, rest in peace. And that's very inspiring. Because in today's society, mm -hmm. we allow music to tell us what looks good. Kendrick Lamar's new song he has called Humble. He talks about stretch marks and how that's being sexy to him. We also have shows like Top Model telling us that being skinny with no curves is sexy. So my question for you is what do you as a fitness trainer think is actually sexy? My own personal preference, I like my women to have more curves. That does not mean that I do not like or I'm not attracted to women who are more petite. I believe that as long as you're confident within who you are, however you are, it doesn't matter what someone else says. When you see people on the streets or on TV, can you tell whether their body is natural or has been surgically enhanced? For the most part. Because some of us can't tell out there. We don't know until we get in bed with them. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, it's still kind of challenging. If, if her booty to thigh ratio is just, <laughs> it, it ain't there, it's not matching up, you know, it's been to work. Yeah. Booty to thigh ratio yeah, it's has key. to be together. It's key. Okay. I'm <laughs> figuring <laughs> out their breast done. I mean, it's a few ways you can tell it. It's most breasts, they, if you don't work out, you want to sag a little bit. That's just the way it is. Gravity pulls on it all the time, and then they just, they don't move as much, <laughs> you know. Those are good tips. Good tips. Now we know. Now we know, you guys. I want to play a game with you. Are you okay with playing a game? Totally okay. This game is called Real or Fake. We're, we're going to name some celebrities, mm -hmm. and you have to let us know if you think that their bodies are natural or if they've been surgically enhanced. Okay. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. We have some pictures of Nicki. She looks very gorgeous. Always does, but... Uh, uh, do you think she's real or fake? I think she's definitely fake. I've seen numerous pictures to her of how Nikki had lived before and to how she looks now. A lot of working out ain't gonna do that. I thought her body was real, but she's actually came out and admitted it, so yeah. it's not a secret. Justin Jedlica. Let's look at him right now. Alright, so Justin, do you think he's real or fake? Extremely. He don't look real. <laughs> The truth is, he is. He has over 190 surgeries already, you guys, and he wants to be like the next Kendall. The Rock. Let's see. Is he real or fake? What do you think? I'll follow this new career from like beginning to where it is now. He's completely real. Wow. Like, 
if anybody, and I've actually met him, because I've met him at Ghost Gym, and it's, it's completely good. He's got the work ethic that that man has. Shout out yeah. to The Rock. Shout out to The Rock. J-Lo, is J-Lo real or fake? Maintain a healthy active lifestyle for life that you can continue to keep looking amazing even the older you get in age. So my answer for her is she's definitely real. And you are correct. She is real. Her body is correct. I mean, you are correct. She, her body is real. And yeah, she looks great. A round of applause for Mike for getting all the answers right. He got all of those. Okay, we'll send you something in the mail. What type of words of inspiration or words of advice do you have for those that possibly want to be fitness trainers that are inspired by you? Focus on your passion because there's tons of trainers out there in the world. There's a billion people who are doing that because there's always going to be a demand for people who want to look better or feel better, you know, i.e. women. Women are the main source of not being comfortable or complete with their bodies. Find out what it is that you're extremely passionate about and incorporate that into your fitness craft. And by doing that, that will allow for you to set yourself aside from others. You have to have the right mindset in order for you to be able to get into the physical part is challenging. It, it, it's not easy every day to set down the burgers and then pick up your chicken. Hit this guy up so he can help you. What kind of projects can we expect from you in the future? What, do you, what kind of events do you have planned? What do you have scheduled? Tuesday and Thursday evenings we do a high intensity interval training as well as a low intensity interval training out in the Palms area. I'm actually personally running a summer ready, summer body challenge for all people. Uh, like all genders, male or female. I'm revamping the way I've been doing it, but it's, it's a thing I like to call, I like to call it Fearless Fridays. So I'm starting to do that. It's one of the biggest projects I love. Cool. How can they find you? What's your social media? My main one is uh, is Instagram. It's Deep Voice Mike, all one word. That is Deep Voice Mike. Deep Voice one word. <laughs> um, uh, obviously on Facebook, you can find me the, the emails that you can look me up for from stuff so is Herbal Mike, so H-E-R-B-A-M-I-K-E, the number 11 at gmail.com. You can find Email. me on Facebook. And then there's there's a Snapchat I use as well. It's Deep Voice Mike 11. And then that's pretty much it. So. That's it. All right, you guys. That is how you find him. And that is the end of this show. And now we know Mike, the fitness trainer, Herbal Life. Shout out and shout out to his two sons. He's doing it for it. And I hope you guys check him out all in the description box. That's the end. Subscribe if you've never seen the show before. And tell a friend. And that's it. See you next time.